so welcome back to the channel guys this is the first part of things you can do with an old router series and in this video we are going to repurpose some old routers as a wi-fi extender or a wi-fi repeater as you can see i have two routers with me one is a tp-link and one is a d-link and you can see the d-link has a broken antenna still we can repurpose it for so many things so without wasting any time let's start with it the first step is to reset the router this step is very important so that the router goes to the default state and we don't have any LAN or WAN settings. To reset the router, you can use the reset switch which you can find inside a small hole either on the back side of your router or at the bottom of your router. To reset the router, first of all plug it in and press the power button. Now wait for the router to start. Once the router fully starts, which you can confirm by the stable power light and Wi-Fi symbols, you need to take any pointy thing and press the reset switch like this. Now keep the reset switch pressed for several seconds until the power LED goes off and comes back again. The router will restart again. Wait for it to reboot. Once the router is rebooted, you are ready for the next step. The next step is to configure your router. And to configure the router, you need to connect your router to a PC or a laptop or a MacBook. And to connect, you need an Ethernet cable like this. Now, take the Ethernet cable and plug it to any of the LAN port on your router. The blue one is WAN port or internet port. Do not plug it on this port. And connect the second end to your PC or a laptop or a MacBook. You can also do the configuration using Wi-Fi, but that is not recommended because Ethernet gives you the most stable connection possible. So I have connected my router to a PC. You can confirm with this symbol. Basically, this is the symbol for LAN. And now let's go to the PC and to the rest of the settings. Now on PC, open any browser and go to the admin page of your router. To go to the admin page, you need to type in the IP address of your router and that would be something like 192.168.0.1 or 192.168.1.1 or it could be 10.0.0.1. You can find this information on back side of your router and if it's not there, the best way to find the IP address of your router would be to open any terminal and if you're on Windows, type this command IP config and this command will give you the default gateway. So default gateway is basically the IP address of your router. The similar command for Mac or Linux would be if config, if con config. So that should give you the default gateway. So I will just copy the address of the router and will paste in in browser. And this will take us to the router's home page. Now the router has been reset. That's why we are seeing this page. It is asking for admin password. So I will just give a password here. And now the page will redirect to the quick setup page. So this page might be different for different routers, but you have to look for few things which would be similar for all routers, means uh, similar settings you can find for all routers. So skip everything, just go to advance and go to wireless settings and change the SSID name. So let me type something here. So I have given the network name as DIY with Anoop so the wireless access point will be made on this name and also I need to change the password for now I'm just keeping it 1234567 so this was for 2.4 gigahertz channel let me save the settings quickly and I will do the same for 5 gigahertz channel and I will save it so wireless settings are done. Now you need to navigate to network, LAN or DHCP server. So basically you need to look for DHCP server. You will either find it inside internet or LAN. But in this router it is under a different tab. 
the tab name is DHCP server. Just click on it and disable the DHCP server. Save it. And now we need to reboot the router. So either you can use this switch on your router to reboot or you can use this link. So I will just reboot it from here. Just wait for it to reboot. Once the router is rebooted, you will be redirected to the same page. Now you can close the browser and you are done with the configuration. Once you are done with the configuration, now you need to connect this router to your main router. For that, just take a cable, Ethernet cable from your main router and connect it to any of the LAN port. Remember to connect it to LAN port and not the WAN port. So now you have something like this. This is the cable which is connected to your PC and this is the cable which is connected to your main router. Now at this point either you can restart the router or you can just unplug the PC and connect it back. So this step was very important so that your PC will get another IP from your main router and not from this router. Since we have disabled a DHCP server on this router so this will not assign any more IPs to any of the devices on your network. Now you can try connecting your mobile device to your newly created access points. So go to the settings, Wi-Fi settings and look for the access points which we created. So as you can see the Wi-Fi access points are visible now. Just click on it and enter the password. And now it will look for the IP address and, and it will get connected to the internet. Now you can do a simple speed test to verify. So you can see uh, my mobile is now connected to the extended Wi-Fi access points and I am able to access the internet. Similarly you can do the speed check on your PC. So you can see I'm getting full speed on my PC as well. So uh, that's all for this video guys. Let me know what you think in the comment. If you like this video and got any information, please like it and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and see you soon.